This is a product demonstration of the Grace Industries Mine Rescue Alarm, also known as the MRA. The MRA was developed after the 2008 Sago Mine Disaster. Bob Campman, our Vice President of Research and Development, was called before a Congressional Committee investigating Miner Rescue. Grace was invited to speak because we are known as the world's developer of the first firefighter personal alert safety system, better known as the PASS alarm. Our experience in the world of fire rescue was a perfect fit as a minor rescue alarm. The MRA is MSHA approved and permissible in all surface and underground mining applications. Let's take a look at the two types of operation of the MRA. The MRA is available in manual or auto activation. The manually activated model of the MRA is turned on, turned off, and put into alarm reset by simultaneously pressing the buttons on each side of the device. Now let's look at the auto activation model of the MRA. The auto-activated model of the MRA is turned on or turned off by first removing or replacing the tally key. The tally key is used in operations where it is important to know that the MRA cannot be accidentally turned off. The tally key is typically left at a point where the MRA is issued, often referred to as the tally board. By viewing the tally board, supervisors and co-workers can be aware of which MRAs are in or out of service. The tally key is not required to reset the MRA. Just as with the manual model, reset is accomplished by simultaneously pressing the buttons on each side of the device. The tally key is required to turn off the auto-activated MRA. Let's see what happens when an MRA is motionless. This particular MRA is set for 60 seconds, which means that the MRA will go into full alarm after 60 seconds of lack of motion. If the MRA is motionless for 45 seconds, the device will go into pre-alert, which prompts the user to move. When the user moves, the MRA will automatically reset. If the user does not move, the MRA will go into full alarm, requiring a reset by pressing the side buttons. The MRA is designed with a manual alarm activation. By pressing the front button, the unit will go into full alarm. Now that we have a better understanding of the operation of the MRA, Let's take a look at some of the features. Sound intensity and sound discernibility. At 98 dBA, Mine Rescue Alarm is the loudest distress alarm available in the mining industry. More important, the sound signature is designed to generate multiple tones that sweep through 2000 to 4000 Hz and pause periodically. This special technique allows the MRA to be quickly identified and easily tracked by the human ear. Visibility. Grace Industry specializes in the integration of highly visible LEDs that illuminate from inside the case which glow, flash, and pulsate. The colors and patterns include those most easily recognized by the human eye. Motion Detection. Grace Industries employs the most effective method of detecting motion. The solid-state accelerometer can sense a broad range of motion and is not position sensitive. This results in little or no false alerts, which are common in mercury tilt switches and similar motion detectors. Waterproofing and corrosion resistance. The MRA is preheated in an oven, then immersed in a test water container for two hours to ensure it is watertight. A salt spray is also performed to rule out potential corrosion. Temperature sensing option. Optional temperature sensing capability is for rescue teams wearing MRA, 
Model M or Model A, when the solid state thermostat threshold has been exceeded by exposure to extreme environmental conditions, the unit will sound a temperature alarm audio tone. Finally, a few specifications on the mine rescue alarm. The mine rescue alarm is rated at 98 plus dBA, measured at 10 feet. The motion sensor is a solid state accelerometer. The case is rugged, high temperature, impact resistant, translucent, polycarbonate plastic. Sound discernibility is 6 dBA against background noise. The approved battery for MSHA certification is the Duracell MN1604 or the Procell PC1604, 9 volt alkaline battery only. The MRA meets the following certifications. Title 30, Code of Federal Regulations, Part 18, and is approved for permissible use in gassy and underground mines. Thank you for viewing this presentation. We hope it has been informative. For more information on how to purchase the MRA, you can contact a Grace Authorized Distributor or call 1-800-969-6933. Thank you.